Sex. Sex. How come there was so much sex at Pressmore? Where was the sex at Pressmore? <laughs> I think we, I think we probably because there was so little elsewhere, <laughs> and because it's identified with the '60s, because we came out of Rochdale. Did you encourage it? No. It well, actually, the the, the notoriety of sex at Pressmore preceded me. Jim Gerard um, was, you know, <laughs> as far as I understand the story, started Pressmore to do Tom Paine, which had no sex in it. But it wasn't available. In the meantime, he fell across this uh, this play, um, Futz, another New York uh, mid '60s play with notoriety attached about a guy who was in love with a pig. A pig, yes. And, uh, in, and the police in, came. In, in the in this production, the woman bared her breast for about maybe 15, 20 seconds, while her son moved over to suckle it comfort him because he was in love with this pig. Well, the town just went wild. We're talking 1966 or 67, somewhere around there. It must have been 67, the past month didn't exist until 67. Anyhow, it went wild, the morality squad came, it was a succès de scandale, they played it, it was, a, it, it was the beginning of the mark of the populist uh, potential for theater at Pass Mariah, anyhow. And we found that as long as we put a little bit of sex and violence for a good period of time, we could actually at least get the audience to come to start with, and then we'd have to have a half-decent show in order to have them continue. So let's go through the original five. There's no sex at the Tarragon. Not to, There's no, sex no, at no. Pasmarai. Yeah. There's no sex at TWP with George Luskin. Yeah, no, no. Except, well, sex all of them are having great sex off stage. No, you know. Right. Like, but on stage, there's On stage. Yeah, We're on talking stage. about art yeah, here, right? Yeah, yeah. There's sex at Toronto Free Theatre with Martin Kinch. Yeah. In and fact, look, it was, he, he was the one, he was the sex expert at Pass Mariah. He was right. John Palmer. I was not the sex expert. When, you know, my first play with nudity was about Dukeabors, which were not, it was a non-sexual play about people who took their clothes off as a political protest against the government. And, and you know, it was anarchic in the sense that they burned their houses to show that they were ready to meet God now because God was coming, and they took their clothes off to meet them in their, you know, original state. They also didn't, you know wear uh, leather on their feet because they were um, vegetarians or early vegetarians and stuff like that. 